Hey guys, it's Bree. I'm going to do a quick wrap up and Friday reads for the week. Um, I started off the week reading uh, Terms of Enlistment by Marco Kluse. Uh, this is the first book in his Frontlines series. I think it's going to be a trilogy. He has a third book coming out. The second book, um, Lines of Departure, was originally nominated for the Hugos this year. Um, and I liked it well enough. It was kind of just like a meh book for me in a lot of ways. Um, but I am reading the second one, despite the fact that it has been withdrawn from the Hugos. I have it on audiobook, and it is my audiobook for this upcoming week. Um, I also read The Bees by Lillian Paul. Um, that's a story about anthropomorphized bees. It's a little trippy because... <laughs> Um, at times, the bees will be talked about as having hands, and then other times, like, no, no hands. <laughs> um, and so it kind of goes back and forth. I found it was a little bit inconsistent on whether it was going to be, like, humanized bees or just actual bees. Um, but that being said, it was kind of an interesting story. It's about a sanitation bee who has a bunch of mutations, and she is actually equipped to do fulfill multiple roles within the beehive. Um, and about her um, adventures, I guess you could say. It, it was interesting. <laughs> Perhaps not my favorite read, but definitely, um, definitely interesting. Um, I picked up The Causal Angel. That's this bad boy. I would show you the other two, but I got them from the library, and I already returned them. Um, Causal Angel is by Hanu Rajaniemi. It is the follow-up to The Quantum Thief and The Fractal Prince, which I loved. Um, Causal Angel was by no means a letdown. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, one of my favorite books so far this year. And Hanu Rajaniemi does that same awesome world building and complex plot development and character development and just... I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, then I read Hanu Rajaniemi's Collected Fiction. Um, it's something that I got as an ARC on, uh, Kindle. And it is a collection of Rajaniemi short stories. Um, it was a lot of fun to read the two of these in really close succession. Um, and it, it's interesting to kind of see some of the thought bubbles, um, in Rajaniemi's work. I hope that some of those stories he eventually turns into full-length novels, I will say that. Um, I don't know exactly when Hana Rajaniemi Collected Fiction is coming out, but I would say that when it is out, if you are interested in Rajaniemi's work without jumping full force into uh, The Quantum Thief, which can be kind of a little bit of an overwhelming story, that that would be a good place to start. I then read The Strange Library by uh, Haruki Murakami. This was an interesting book. It's super short. Um, it's another one I was reading on Kindle. And it is about a young boy who goes to a library, and it's kind of a fairy tale-like story um, that I think plays off of the idea of multiple intersecting universes. Um, definitely strange. <laughs> Um, enjoyable, yes, but strange. Um, so that leaves me with what I'm reading now, which is uh, Unseemly Science by Rod Duncan. Last week I read uh, the first book in this series, which is called The uh, Fall of the Gaslit Empire, um, and that is The Bullet Catcher's Daughter. I got the second book as an arc off of NetGalley, and I'm reading it now and liking it pretty much just as much as I like the first one. Again, it's the kind of story that's not like fantastic and, you know, totally eloquent language, but it's really fun um, with some really interesting themes woven in. And then I am going to be picking up Inda by Sherwood Smith today. I have been looking forward to this one all week. <laughs> um, granted, I got distracted by some other stuff. Um, but I'm excited to finally be picking it up. And then next week, I'm hoping to have a really good week, I have uh, Miss Marvel Generation Y. This is Miss Marvel Volume 2. Volume 1 has been nominated for the Hugos, but I've already read it. Um, and so I'm going to be reading number two. I really did like the first volume. 
And then I have Rat Queens Volume 1. This has also been nominated for the Hugos, and I haven't actually picked this up before. Um, but I, I like the sound of it, and I think some of the artwork looks really interesting. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see that particularly well, but I'm looking forward to that. And as far as novels, I am going to be picking up The Girl with All the Gifts. This is by M.R. Carey. And um, this one has been, I think this is a an Arthur C. Clarke Award nominee. It, it's award season, you know. Um, it says, every morning Melanie waits for her cell to be, in her cell to be collected for class. When they come for her, Sergeant Parks keeps his gun pointing at her while two of his people strap her into the wheelchair. She thinks they don't like her. She jokes that she won't bite, but they don't laugh. Um, this is one that's gotten a lot of play on the YA circuit, um, but I am interested. It is blurbed by Joss Whedon, and it has a pretty good io9.com uh, rating, so that's always a good sign. Um, so I will be picking up this. And then I will be picking up Rocket Boys. Um, <laughs> This is the uh, memoir off of which October Sky was based. I haven't watched October Sky, um, but it is about engineers in the 60s and the NASA program, which the NASA program, how can you not just want to eat all of that up? Um, so that is my week. Um, I already mentioned that I am uh, listening to Lines of Departure by Marco Cluse on uh, audiobook. And like I said, it's kind of okay so far. We'll see how I like it towards the end. It's an improvement on the first one, but the first one needed a lot of improvement as far as I was concerned. Um, and so we'll see. It looks like a good week for me. I'm, I'm feeling good about it. Uh, let me know what you think if you've read any of these books. Uh, and I will talk to you later. Have a great weekend. Bye.